Hello again. Uh, this time I wanted to talk about coincident partials and beats in a piano. If you're not familiar with what partials are, maybe take a look at some of my earlier videos where I talked about partials. Um, coincident partials and beats. I, I have seen some videos on YouTube where people talk about piano tuning and beats and I, I, it's always really hard for me to hear the beats. So I thought I would use the spectrum analyzer to show the beats. And if you can see them happening, maybe it'll be a little easier to hear them also. Um, the, the notes that we're going to be looking at today are F2, A3, and A4, which is also A440. Um, so I play each of those three notes. I'll play each of the three notes separately, separately to um, show the spectrum for each one. This is the F. And there's the fundamental about 84 hertz. The A3 has a fundamental about 220, and A4, of course, 440. And the coincident partials means the two partials of two different notes have the same frequency. So the first partial of A4 is 440, and the second partial of A3 is also 440. Um, I'll talk a little bit about temperament the, I, I don't want to I don't want to uh, get bogged down in that but in an equal temperament the octaves are tuned pure which means that the a the this this second partial of the a3 should match the first partial of a4 440 and if that's true you won't hear any beating I'll get to what beats are in a minute um, so this F though has a fifth partial that's 435.3 hertz according to this. I don't know how accurate this software is but it, it's, it's close enough. Um, 435.3 so that's about uh, what is it? Uh, 439.8 435.3 4.5 hertz difference and because in, in equal temperament the F is tuned a little bit lower so that this partial this fifth partial is is lower than the the uh, A A's first or second partial so and, and it's a major tenth or a major seventeenth is the interval of the F to the A3 or the F2 to the A4 and major thirds are not tuned pure in equal temperament. And that's why we get this, this, this beating. So let's have a listen to the F. This is an F2 played with an A3. So I don't know how well you can hear that on YouTube, but you can see it. Uh, watch this uh, this. 440 partial here as it plays. See how it bounces up and down like that? And that is the beats. That's that's what people are talking about when they talk about beats. Um, since the the difference is the four point about what was it about 4.6 hertz that we said before? 435.2 439.8, yeah, 4.6. So we're going to do an experiment where we're going to count the number of beats and see it should it should be according to what we just saw, 4.6 times per second. And it's a little hard to count 4.6 in one second, so I'm going to count for 10 seconds, and then divide the result by 10 and see what the beat rate. Is so twenty five point one. Wait, what? Eight point five 
six, five, 40, 47. So that's pretty close to what we expected the beat rate to be. That's all for this time. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Thanks.